There's gonna be a lot of beans under that pedal. That is like buzzard poop on a pump handle. That weld right there. I can never tell if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It almost seems like it's raining in here. Well, it is raining in here. <laughs> it kind of is. It just. It just. <laughs> oh man. It's... Ready, bud? About as ready as I'm gonna be. <laughs> Here you go. Today on Cars and Cameras, we are back working on our 670cc two-stroke go-kart build. The engine is off of a early to mid-90s Ski-Doo Mach 1, producing about 125 horsepower. And we decided, why not throw it on a regular old race cart? We've already separated the engine from the sled and mounted it on the go-kart. So in today's episode, we're building a jack shaft and the rest of the drive line out. So maybe uh, we're gonna see this thing run by the end of the episode. First off, we need to try and get this jack shaft right here for the for the what is it the, the driven for the driven pulley. I was I was trying to think of which which gear it is. It's the second one off the yes. motor. We're trying to get that jack shaft. Hopefully, if I can open this reverse gear box, hopefully there's a castle nut right here and we can slide that jack shaft right out and go to the bearing shop. Wow, that's a lot of metal. Yeah, I didn't think the magnet was that tiny. Mm. That's all. Yeah, but it's all fine material. There's no big chunks. So maybe it's just like, I'm not sure. It's not good, but it's not horrible. Worst case Ontario, we're gonna cut that jack shaft. Yeah. I'm removing the last bolt on this side cover. Hopefully uh, we, won't, we don't have any parts fall out when we lift this thing. So I believe there's gonna be a chain in there. Well, I'm gonna just take that all the way out. Something come unsnapped. It was the shifting fork, wasn't it? Yeah, I think the shifting fork was shifting fork okay. was uh, stuck. Well, yeah, cause it's probably gonna have to go back into place. Yeah. So, uh, so that here, here's this. Okay. Oh, it is a castle nut. Look at that. Yep. All right. So we'll take that loose, and it, jack shaft will probably come out. Yeah, I'm gonna take a picture of this. All right. Well, we'll just take that castle nut loose and. Uh, drop out the jack shaft and then i'll be heading to the bearing place and get some bearings yeah we'll, we'll take my truck i got air conditioning sounds good to me let's do it all right man Man, there's stuff flying everywhere. I know, hopefully it's no parts out yeah. there, but. Hey, it looks like it's been got. I got it. We just, we'll just lay this thing back uh, down. Probably ought to put the side cover back on to keep everything yeah. from falling out. Okay, All right, sweet, jack shaft is out. Well, just jack do see though, cuz. Jack shaft to the bearing store. Let's do it. All right. So, uh, what's, what do we got going on? Well, we have a live axle kit from Go Power Sports. Thank you, Go Power Sports. Yep. And we have a driven pulley that is. Let's see. This is a. This is one inch. This is slightly smaller than one inch. Yes. So, so we got to turn down the axle to fit the driven pulley. So I've got a lathe in the other shop. We're gonna put the axle in there and we're gonna use this file to try to you know it's, it's not lacking much not lacking much so we're gonna kind of turn it down to fit our driven pulley so let's do it Hey! We got shafted. <laughs> so, uh, basically a jack shaft, right? Yes. Pretty much. I mean, and we're gonna try and follow, I think either we're doing three bearings or two, but we want as much structure, as, we want as much strength as possible, because as you guys know, 125 horses. It's, there's gonna be a lot of beans under that pedal.
buddy. So, it's been a fun morning. Yeah. Uh, we got some custom riggage happening here, as you well know. And basically, we need a key that fits both this driven pulley and this Go Power Sports axle. So we had to do some custom work. I had to make a key out of a bolt. You can still see the little bit of these threads uh, so that it would fit in both up top here and it would fit in the axle. So I'm like right there getting close, making the smallest trims. I imagine I'll be done in just a few minutes. Yeah, it's going. Trying to get this little bit of mushroom off of here because I, I got a little overzealous with the hammer, but it'll be fine, right? I hope so. That's our axle. <laughs> that chair over there is uh, calling my name, boys. Y'all uh, stay busy and I'll just... Uh, don't, don't let it flip over on you. Now. Yeah, I'll just come over here to this chair. Axle's finally cleaned up. So the jack shaft and axle assemblies are mocked up, sprockets and all. It's looking pretty good if I do say my, so myself. Uh, it's time to reinforce the jack shaft assembly. So we have some recycled parts off the frame, already painted green. It's going to go here, here, uh, somewhere over here, somewhere over here. Shouldn't be too bad, so let's get to it. Chief Engineer Ike uh, shot down our idea, yeah. but for good reason. No, because if it's welded here and there, well, all the torque is yeah, above the, the structure. Yeah. So it's not going to yeah, do us much good. We're probably going to have to either have it welded parallel with this or above uh, go, to make it I strong. I go the highest point, and it might be cool to kind of go Ooh. parallel with that seat. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, I do like. It. So we settled on uh, square tubing for reinforcement. Yeah. So gonna, it doesn't buckle. Yeah, I'm going to cut two 45s right here. We got that way. Uh, both front pieces are going to be the same. Maybe a little bit uh, difference on the with the with the driver pulley just to make sure we've got clearance. But this this square tubing is not going to buckle under 125 horsepower. I feel a lot better if we do a, a speed run or whatever whatever we plan on doing with this. Right. But yeah, we we definitely want it stronger. Yeah, what you got going on there, buddy? Yeah. So we don't have our nice Rogue Fab tubing masher here. So I'm about to butcher the poopy out of a. Uh, uh, making a fish mouth oh it'll be fine it's all right man it's like going back to the roots man that's right that is like buzzard poop on a pump handle that weld right there i can never tell if that's a good thing or a bad thing it's it's not good oh, because, yeah because if you got to grab that pump handle then you got then you got the buzzard poop all in your hand <laughs> plus it, you know buzzard poop clumps up so just imagine a clumped up weld <laughs> yeah i mean it'll probably hold but we didn't do it All right, fits pretty good. Got to clean up that metal right there and we're ready to weld. That sounds more like it. Sounds like I'm frying bacon over here. I think she's ready for a rip. Sweet. Got her. This should decimate all at the next Dust Bowl 500. Yeah. Oh my God, oh, y'all yeah. wouldn't put this on the Dust Bowl 500, would y'all? Yeah. I would. You'd run it? I'd try. Give, oh give, give me 20 laps on it and see how unmanageable it is. And I, I, I think idle it would be unmanageable. Yeah. I might be putting my foot in my mouth, but I'll give it a shot. You okay. heard it. You heard it. I got to try it. How's it looking there, buddy? Oh, it's done. Oh yeah. Were mm -hmm. we gonna do a short piece yes. there? there? Okay. Yeah, I've got a. You got one. Got the recycled piece of frame somewhere. Looking good, man. We got a monsoon going on outside. I'm gonna be honest, man. It, it almost seems like it's raining in here. Well, it is raining in here. <laughs> it kind of is. It just. It just. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, there's bugs coming in over there, dude. Yeah. 
Okay. It'll be fine, man. But if the weather feels good, uh, tacking in this last piece here. Ready? No. Cover. Sweet. Uh, that's gonna do it for reinforcement for now, right? Uh, I think we're gonna rig the chain up, put all the hardware uh, in our axle, and then uh, fire it up and see if we can get it to move under its own power, right? We still got several hours to go before getting to that point. Oh. Well, then what's but, next? But yeah. So Charles is installing the axle, or Bear, hanging the yeah. axle bearings. Yeah, the bearing carrier. Or hanging the axle on the frame. John's doing it too. I think this is an Italian go-kart. I can't remember yeah. the, the make. It sounded like pasta. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> is that, it's probably offensive. Maybe. Might be. I mean no offense. All right. You are Italian, so. so yeah, it's that's okay. right. It's okay. So, y'all are getting close to being done there. And then, oh, I guess y'all can mount the rear wheels and tires and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, then we can move on to fuel and wiring and, oh man, there's just so much stuff. Yeah. Are you getting I'm rained straight on? up getting rained on. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> Charles, buddy. Charles, you seen this, dude? Yeah. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> I was standing right here and getting it dripped on my head. It felt kind of good. <laughs> yeah. So Ike is going to leave us for the day, uh, but we have a good list of things to work on, uh, and he's going to be joining us again tomorrow morning, hopefully in time to hear this thing fire up. Yeah, there's a lot to do. So it's the end of the night here, and uh, what do we got, Charles? We got a whole lot of, well, a whole lot of scratch in the head, because we got the chain on there, and then we realized, uh-oh, we don't have a tensioner. Yeah. So we tried loosening these bolts. We got a little bit of wiggle room with the jack shaft. What we're going to try and do is oval out these holes to where on the, act not on the uh, pillar block, but on the actual bracket that we made, so we get a little bit more leeway. Because, I mean, we were like, what, half a link off? Yeah. We could probably put one in there, but we're, we want a one solid piece chain, so. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, we're fighting this here. We got broken hardware. Uh, yeah, this thing has just been a pain a little bit because it, it, was, it was beat up pretty good. Yeah. But there is, you know, there is a silver lining. We got Willwood brakes on this. Absolutely. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, getting close on this axle. Oh, yeah. It's, I mean, it. She's, she's bolt, it, it is bolted in there. I mean, it, if we had a tincture and everything finished, I mean, we could. Drive line would be done. Drive line, yes. Yep. The, the cooling system and whatnot, but we just, you know, just checking them off. So uh, come the morning time, we're gonna run this by Ike, our chain tensioner idea, and uh, keep it moving. See you then. Good morning. Still have plenty to do. I'm gonna start by reinforcing the motor mounts because we don't wanna fire this thing up and then have the engine fall off the cart. This cart and that cart. Driver. Yep. That's not gapping to the moon. There's nothing wrong with that, it's like man. Half an inch of I mean, I would have been done by now. Uh huh, if only. What? Spin. Cover. Yep. Well, hopefully that sprocket is straight. It actually doesn't look bad. 
should we leave it tacked for the fire up? There's some tiny but, wells. I mean, we're, do we're, you want to do it again a little bit on this side? And, um, I mean, since there's no pressure on it, I, I'm guessing that we could just leave it tacked just to just or to see. Fire it up in the air and it yeah, won't have yeah, too much yeah, load on yeah, it. That's yeah. a perfect way to test if it'll have wobble. Exactly. Around. And then and if it works, it. yeah. Perfect. How, and if it how'd that go again? Overdone it. You heard me. How'd that go again? <laughs> Is that how you lay the, the That's how he lays, lays That's how dogs. John welds. That's how I weld right there. That's my <laughs> technique. Oh yeah, buddy. Yeah, we just don't all our hard work we don't want it to just fold up, so we had to yeah. just I hope I got the gear ratio right. Yeah, I'm sure um, it'll be fine. Hey, yeah. look, the other gear it would have been dragging the ground. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah. this is all we got. Yeah. Their only right. option. We even got the belt rotating the right way. Cool. So that would be my fault. Go in place. Oh, it's, it's fine, right. it's fine. Alright, so we got to find some missing parts. Yeah, we got a lot of missing parts here. So uh not great. I'm gonna put the camera down and I'm gonna look for uh, carburetor pieces. Sounds good. We had a panic moment. We thought we uh, lost the slides, but we got them. This thing is close to firing up. After much, much research, we decided we're gonna trust the factory oiling system because, um, well, I mean, us Southern boys, we, that's our excuse, man. I, I didn't grow up with these. You didn't either. Um, you can delete the oiling system and do a premix, but you need parts, right? Well, you, you have to take the plate off that the carburetors are on. There's a gear that you got to remove. You got to join lines together. You got to do that. You got to block off some stuff. And uh, yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah. Yes. So we got our two stroke mix and our oiling system. We got straight gas, right? We got straight gas. Kind of. This is kind of straight. We yeah. put it. We put it in a uh, two-stroke engine oil <laughs> container, so there's yeah. a tiny bit of oil in it. Just that tiny bit of insurance, right? Yes, absolutely. So, that we, being said, we got spark. I know where the kill switch is. It's time to pull this sucker over and see what happens. Ready, bud? About as ready as I'm gonna be. <laughs> Here you go. This is falling. Okay. Uh, there's a broomstick right there up against the coffin. Oh, sweet. Yes, it's a coffin, guys. I'm sure a lot of y'all know that already. Wondering, why does Ike have a coffin? Because I think it'll make a great go-kart. Ready? Nice and easy for easy. Well, you know, jerk it. We sent Charles off on a mission to pick up some uh, parts for another project. So when he gets back, he's gonna give us a hand and uh, we're gonna see if we can't get this thing running. It's weird, because it was running before. Yeah. We have a Charles here, successfully picked up a ATV for us. We're gonna be using the suspension off of for an upcoming project. Um, so now that we have a three-man team, Charles is gonna be on the throttles. Ike is gonna be on the starting fluid oh 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 nice can't mistake him this for not Gatorade. Gatorade, no sir and i'm gonna be pulling so wish us luck
extinguisher yeah just in case no kidding dude yeah half the fuel is going in the carbs and half was going on the ground and half was going over the frame yeah everywhere looks like we made a modification yeah okay I feel yeah. like i need more fuel in there it's only got like half oh well that might be our problem the whole time What do we got, boys? Well, it, uh, my ears are almost bleeding. But what? That's awesome. Did what? it do a thing? It did a thing. Yeah, yeah. It uh, engaged. Yeah. Everything both, was working. Both pulleys are, are moving in and out. Um, but I, I cut it short because we still have to hook up no cooling the cooling system. system. Yeah. <laughs> so, awesome. Uh, so, it, the carburetors, it was taking the fuel by the carburetors? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Um, the uh, We had a huge vacuum leak here, which... I closed up and I could add a little bit of fuel when we needed it. That's like the prime uh, pump and it was just open, which was a huge vacuum leak. Cool. So, uh, it's doing good now. So Sweet. Nice yep. job, boys. Thank you. So our engine is hanging on for dear life in there. Uh, <laughs> this is going to be a crazy wild ride. I'm glad we heard this thing run in the chassis. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe. To catch this thing in action on Cars and Cameras, uh, we'll catch you next time. Go to our website, cars-cameras.com, pick up a t-shirt, help support the channel. All right, see ya. Hey guys, if you enjoyed today's episode and you want even more Cars and Cameras, consider joining the Cars and Cameras Crew Chief Membership Tier. Uh, it's $9.99 a month, and it gets you exclusive behind-the-scenes videos uh, of what we have going on here at Cars and Cameras. So it's a great way to help support us and you get exclusive videos. So far we have building a track watering system out of scrap for our dust bowl uh, oval track. And we have exclusive pit interviews with all the YouTubers that came to the Backyard 500 weekend. So uh, you join by pressing the join button right next to the subscribe button. Uh, thanks for your support guys and um, we'll catch you next time. So what's up? Yeah, um, the driven pulley is on backwards. We realized that, but you know, it it didn't hurt the test fire, so. No, no, it was under no load whatsoever. So we're gonna have to just turn this thing around and everything will probably be hunky-dory. <laughs>